So I got to be honest. I don't really care about this card. Besides hustle and coffee. It doesn't seem exciting. I was trying to find the word MVP versus Cuban. We haven't seen Cuban in a while. No one's really checking for him. At least I'm not. MVP had a horrible showing, a horrible showing at Summer Madness 11. So I could see why they would want to put him on a card where he can do well to change the perception of to look at him at a better to look at him in a better light than the last time we saw him. I like MVP taking that. Cortez versus Jay the Nightwing. This is a cool matchup. Lately, Cortez has had this choking problem, which is kind of weird. He's gone years with being prepared and no slip ups and all of a sudden this past year, he's just been having straight up chokes. Doesn't make sense. Cortez is a vet, so I like to put respect on his name. As for Jay the Nightwing, he is probably about third in his class. Tied for third, actually, with Lou Castro with his showings behind Real Sick and Easy to Block Captain. Well, let me take that back. I'm forgetting about Fawns. So that third spot is really tricky. But Jay the Nightwing had a good showing against Kid Chaos. I expect him to show out. I wouldn't be surprised if Jay the Nightwing takes it 2 1. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if Cortez takes it 2 1. So that matchup is kind of even for me. Lou Castro, Lou Castro versus Fonz. This is pretty soon, pretty early for Lou Castro to be back on a card. I'm not sure how well prepared he is to step three rounds against a killer like Fonz. I mean, Fonz had a battle on Houston Barcode the night before Summer Madness, but that was a one rounder. We're talking about three rounds now, three prepared rounds for Fawns in two weeks. That's a lot to ask for. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that I got Fawns clearly. I assume the super fight's gonna be in a small caffeine room. So Lou would probably, Lou will have to beat Fawns with straight lyrics because he doesn't have thousands of people backing him. So when you get into that caffeine room, you have to rap rap and Fonz can rap. He's tall, he can tower over you. Even the perception of the way it looks, looks kind of crazy. So, so I got Fonz taking that clearly. Sirius Jones versus Swamp. I probably don't care about this battle as much as the MVP and Cuban battle. It's just a very, very random matchup. Sirius Jones last showing versus Nitty was was extremely dope. Many felt he won that one and the judges got it wrong. So I expect him to be in his bag as well. But Swamp is different. Swamp has had good showings as well. And just the, the style clash doesn't seem right. I mean, who knows? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it might be battle of the night. But on paper, that matchup just seems like it's out of nowhere and it doesn't really make sense. I mean, Sirius Jones has this stigma of having old school bars and Swamp is all accent with bars. So that's one I'm not really checking for. Now, the main event, Hustle vs. Coffee, the rescheduled match. I'm excited for this one. Coffee has been on a tear. She's been on a run. She's going to be hard to beat. She's going toe to toe with competition. So right now, Coffee has all the momentum. Hustle has been kind of spotty with the Lady Luck battle was kind of OK. She she did well in that one. And I mean, she got a verb out of here. So nothing shows me that Hustle would be lacking in this battle. But this is new school versus old school. So I'm interested to see what type of angles and what what type of strategy each battler takes but this battle actually saves the card i probably would have been all right if it was just a one-off with hustle versus coffee but maybe i'm wrong maybe we might get a classic who knows but i wish that that danny versus fawns matchup was still going down but who are we to complain don't forget 
to subscribe, hit the like button and comment. Peace.